So now that I've got the starters out of the way, uh, I think it's about time that I move on to the main meal, the dessert, the evening reception, the star of the show, the apple of my eye, the sugar in my tea, my best friend, and now my wife, Mrs. Lydia, on if I Damini is loyal, um, Damini is intentional, Damini is caring. Oh my god, the way he scratches himself before he goes to bed, he knows, he knows what I'm talking about. The way he scratches himself before he goes to bed is something else. <laughs> annoys me about him um not much to be honest he's a very calm chilled spirit so it's actually if you go and ask him the question he'll give you like a, a scroll What makes this love story so sweet is the transformation I have seen in our brother. While many of us were learning about love through trial and error, how many kept to himself, not wanting to waste time with the wrong person. So when God finally sent the right one his way, the change was clear. Front page news. What? Damini, Mr. Single Since School, Mr. I Don't Need the Stress. Then, imagine my surprise to find his bride was from the east side of the motherland. Kenya, the land of my grandmother. Based on that alone, I knew this was something special. Every double date, every get-together, every event has been full of laughter, memories, and truth. But of course you were perfect, because Damini knows his heart. As many people know, and as George just let you all know, to be honest, I hadn't had a girlfriend since secondary school. I was Mr. Single, and I'd never fallen in love. But apparently, Lydia, you had some sort of exclusive key to my locked heart. Because within three weeks of us meeting, I couldn't help but ask you to be my girlfriend. And it didn't take much longer before I was professing my love for you. Thank you for opening up my heart and teaching me how to love. Teaching me how to be vulnerable to love. And teaching me how to be the man that today is your husband. I'm so grateful that you have been my first and will be my only experience of romantic love. Thank you for making it such a beautiful one. When the word soulmate is thrown around, people just assume they're puzzle pieces that fit together. And I agree in part, but a true soulmate is a mirror. The person who brings you to your own attention, challenges you, makes you think deeper for good reason, and in doing so changes your life. The first day I met Damini, I knew he was that for you. Oh, this is the reveal? Yeah. Let me put this drink down before I <laughs> chuck it in the air. Ready? You know I'm dramatic though, you know me, right? You know I can't look yet. <laughs> Did you ask him to look all this time and now she's like, Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh wait, I didn't even see it. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Wow. That is stunning. Three, 
Two, one, and Lydia can turn around. No, but you guys look stunning. You guys look beautiful. You guys? Oh my god. No tears. Okay, no. Iffy? <laughs> Get it together. You look beautiful. You guys all look. If you told the Luo that they look good, then they will give you this answer. I know, but do I say that response? Some people may think it's being a little arrogant or probably being rude. But it actually shows that you have self-belief and it shows uh, that you have unwavering confidence about who you are. And those features, those virtues are virtues that my daughter Lydia has got in plenty. It's a wonderful boy. It's a very wonderful son, actually. Very, very helpful. Very, very supportive. I mean, this, this guy will move heaven and earth to help family. And I know that. I know what he does in our home. I know what he does for people, for friends. You know, when um, one of your friends was going to have a baby, right? Damini was told around 11.30 midnight. Well, 11.30 is not midnight yet. Yeah. Anyway, he drove all the way down to Croydon to wait till the baby was born. Then drove back 4 a.m. in the morning and then had to go to work on that same day. And you wonder what sort of character is this? That is a loyal I know I'd love again Something about the way you say my name lets me know. Um, I think I'm most excited for um, Lydia walking down the aisle and like that moment where Damini sees Lydia. Yes. Yeah. And Lydia yeah. sees Damini. Like, I think that moment. Where their eyes just yeah, see me. Yeah. We already yeah. 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 Everything I prayed for you. Lydia. I'm so grateful that God allowed our paths to cross two and a half years ago, which has led us up to being here today at the start of our lives, moving together as one in the eyes of God, our family and our friends. We are two pieces of a puzzle that may appear to look different whilst apart, but are perfectly whole when combined. I feel truly blessed that God picked you to be my joining piece and I'm excited to be a part of your life as we explore what the future has in store for our union. I vow to be the man that you inspire and deserve of me to be. I vow to wake up every morning and be grateful to God that he has trusted you in my care. And I vow to always prioritize this responsibility in my life by being a representation and an embodiment of his love for you. I vow to put your needs above my own and to be there to wipe off all of the numerous happy and sad tears we know that you will shed over our lifetime. I vow to be your shoulder to lean on, your rock when times feel hectic and your embrace when times feel lonely. I vow to commit my body, mind and soul to you until death do us part and to live my life in a manner that never causes you to question my love or devotion to you. 
<laughs> Lydia and I are closer than anything, and although there isn't a day without her chaos, I wouldn't choose anyone else to share this sisterhood with. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Lydia taught me how to be bold, fearless, and unapologetic. I'm so grateful to have such a successful, caring, and beautiful mentor. Standing here today, I still can't believe I get the privilege to be your wife. As I was writing these vows, I thought back to a list that I wrote on my phone a few years back. This long list was to remind me of exactly what it was that I was looking for in a partner. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that I would actually meet the man who met that high standard. Fast forward exactly five years and three days later, after writing that long list, here we are today, Damini. You are caring, diligent, intentional, and honest. My confidant, my peace, my best friend, and my actual best day scenario. Who would have thought I'd get you? God puts dreams in our hearts and writes a destiny over our lives. If we trust him enough to take him at his word, we will find ourselves on a journey towards the fulfillment of that dream. Damini, you're a dream come true and a daily reminder of God's love and favor in my life. I thank God for your stable and soft love. It's this love that you pour into me daily that has helped me change how I view and accept myself. Thank you for seeing and loving me for all I am. Thank you for always holding a mirror to me and correcting me lovingly. I vow to take you, I vow to never take you for granted. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I vow to never take you for granted. I vow to encourage you in your pursuit to your best self and I promise to always make you chicken. I know that with God, we can accomplish everything that we set our minds to. You are the best part of me. I am honored to spend the rest of my life with you. You're my best friend, my confidant, my business partner, my life partner, my other half my everything. I'm so delighted to finally be able to call you my wife and to publicly celebrate my joy and love for you. But as much as today is about the public declaration of love that I have for you and that we have for each other, I also want it to be a public celebration of the woman that I chose and will never stop choosing. I choose the way that you inspire me and thousands of others every single day to work hard and pursue our dreams. I choose your tenacity, your drive and your discipline that led you to buy a house in London all by yourself while still in your 20s. I choose the warm and friendly personality that has so many people seeing you as their online big sister. We can hardly go out without a stranger stopping us to say hi to you, tell us how much they love your videos and tell me how lucky I am to be with you. Can you imagine? I choose your eye for detail that has led some of the world's biggest brands to come to you for your ideas and your creativity. I choose your sensitive spirit and the many, many, many tears you shed that you're shedding now, whether in joy or sadness and how that causes your eyes to literally twinkle when you smile. But most importantly, I choose the commitment you show to me and our relationship in the way that you reflect and adjust the way you think and move for the betterment of our love and our friendship. Goodness and mercy clearly followed you throughout your life 
and I'm so grateful that God has allowed me to join in on your journey and for our favour to double. Hey guys, welcome back to the wedding vlog. Ba, 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 ba. Ah, sorry, baby. Sorry. Smack in the face, hey, husband. Man. Hey, wife. Thanks, baby. <laughs> you may get jiggy. Sorry. Uh, I meant to say uh, that, uh, Damini, you may kiss the bride. Your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Onifade. So to my sunshine Dinga, my yellow pepper, my baby owl, my Lydia, may you continue to astonish the world with Damini by your side. Give it up one last time for Mr. and Mrs. O. 